Yesterday, for example, a former Air Force officer who worked for years in military intelligence came forward as a whistleblower to reveal that the U.S. government has physical evidence of crashed non-human made aircraft, as well as the bodies of the pilots who flew those aircraft. The Pentagon has spent decades studying these otherworldly remains in order to build more technologically advanced weapons systems. Okay, that's what the former intel officer revealed, and it was clear he was telling the truth. In other words, UFOs are actually real, and apparently so is extraterrestrial life. Now we know. In a normal country, this news would qualify as a bombshell, the story of the millennium. But in our country, it doesn't. The whistleblower's account ran on a technology website called The Debrief, which you've probably never heard of. The Washington Post had that story, but decided not to run it. The New York Times, meanwhile, just pretended it never happened. On the front page of the New York Times website this morning, there were five stories about Ukraine, as well as four stories apiece about Donald Trump, trans people, and climate change, the usual lineup. There was nothing at all about how an alien species is flying hypersonic aircraft over our cities. Not one word.